end end up in a matter of a campaign against the trade of arm trade and the Secretary of State for International Trade and others. The media summary I'm about to read is to assist in understanding the Court of Appeal's decision. It does not form part of the reasons for the decision. The full open judgment of the Court of Appeal is the authoritative document. The full open judgment of the Court of Appeal and a copy of what I'm about to read out are available at www.judiciary.uk. There is, in addition, a closed judgment dealing with matters of national security. This appeal concerns the lawfulness of the grant by the UK government of export licenses for the sale or transfer of arms or military equipment to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for possible use in the conflict in Yemen. The appeal is from the order of the High Court of the 10th of July 2017 which dismissed the claims of the appellant, Campaign Against the Arms Trade, which I'll call CAT for short, for judicial review. The High Court concluded that the government decision was lawful. This is a claim for judicial review. The courts are not concerned with the merits of the sale of arms to Saudi Arabia. Different people in society will have different views on that, but that is not a matter for the courts, who are only concerned with the law and whether the decision by government was lawful. The Court of Appeal read and heard extensive evidence and argument, both in open court and for national security reasons in closed hearing, which enabled the court to consider a large amount of highly sensitive material. The position of CAT was presented in closed hearings by special advocates who were able to see all the closed material and make submissions on its behalf on the facts and the law. The court is satisfied that all relevant material was considered. The Court of Appeal has concluded that the process of decision making by the government was wrong in law in one significant respect. Part of the legal test under the Export Control Act 2002, the Export Control Order 2008, and the common position adopted by the Member States of the European Union in December 2008, is in what is known as Criterion 2. This means that the exporting state must consider the recipient country's attitudes towards the principles of international humanitarian rights instruments and international human rights law. Criterion 2 stipulates that member states shall deny an export license if there is a clear risk that the equipment might be used in the commission of serious violations of international humanitarian law. The error of law identified concerns one part of the process followed by government in considering the clear risk of serious violations. The government made no concluded assessments of whether the Saudi-led coalition had committed violations of international humanitarian law in the past during the Yemen conflict and made no attempt to do so. The evidence shows that the government has consistently engaged closely with Saudi Arabia in an attempt to avoid breaches of international humanitarian law and to minimize or avoid civilian casualties in the Yemen conflict. The evidence demonstrates that these efforts have been genuine and extensive. There is considerable evidence as to the attitude of Saudi Arabia and their expressed desire to avoid violations of international humanitarian law. The government argued that these steps were sufficient as a basis for a finely balanced judgment in favour of continued supply of weaponry. The court has concluded as a matter of law that this was an error. On these facts, there was a legal obligation 
as a matter of rationality to make a systematic assessment of past possible violations, not necessarily in every case, but where possible, before deciding whether there is a clear risk of future serious violations. On that point, the appeal has succeeded and the decision of the High Court is overturned. The other arguments made on behalf of CAT have been rejected. The decision of the Court today does not mean that export licenses to export arms to Saudi Arabia must, by order of us, be immediately be suspended. CAT did not ask for such an order. It does mean that the UK government must reconsider the matter, must make the necessary assessments about past episodes of concern, allowing for the fact that in some cases it will not be possible to reach a conclusion. The government must then estimate the future risks in the light of their conclusions about the past. Our formal order is as follows. Upon the Secretary of State undertaking not to grant any new licenses for the export of arms or military equipment to Saudi Arabia for possible, future, for possible use in the conflict in Yemen until he has either a. retaken the decisions referred to subsequently of this order or secondly b. applied for a stay of execution uh, under this order and a stay has been granted by the court permitting him to grant such licenses we order that one. The appeal is allowed on ground one and dismissed on grounds two and four. Two, the order of the Divisional Court dated the 24th of July 2017 is set aside in its entirety. Three, the defendant's decisions, one, not to suspend extant export licenses for the sale or transfer of arms and military equipment to Saudi Arabia for possible use in the conflict in, Ye in Yemen, and two, to continue to grant further such licenses are quashed, and the matter is remitted to the Secretary of State to retake the decisions on the correct legal basis. 4. The defendant shall, by 4pm on the 4th of July 2019, pay the claimant's reasonable costs as follows. Firstly, in respect of proceedings before the Divisional Court in the sum of £70,000 plus VAT, as capped by the order of Mr Justice Gilbert of the 11th of July 2016, and B. Secondly, in respect of the proceedings before this Court, in the further sum of £51,000, including VAT, as capped by the orders of Lord Justices Irwin and Flo of the 4th of May 2018. Any application for permission to appeal and or for a stay of execution shall be made in writing by 4pm on Thursday, the 27th of June 2019. Any response to such an application is to be made in writing by 4pm on Thursday, the 4th of July 2019. Any application for permission to appeal shall be determined by the court in writing. Court rise.